Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create an advanced note app using View and Pinia. The app will hold some notes that one user can add, delete, or update in it, and it has some features like pin the note and search any particular note if you like. And it will have a default list view, and user can switch to grid view as well. Now, before I start creating the app, let me introduce you about uh, what tools we are going to use in it. So, first thing, except HTML and CSS, we are going to use View 3. Now, many of you may be familiar with it. If not, then it's a JavaScript framework to build user interfaces. It builds on top of the standard HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and provides a declarative and component-based programming model that helps you efficiently develop user interfaces, be they simple or complex. And the next thing we're going to use is Pinia. Now, Pinia is a store library and a state management framework for Vue.js, designed primarily for building front-end web applications, basically. Now, here, I'm expecting to you that you have a sound knowledge about JavaScript, and if you know a little bit of Vue, that's a plus. If not, then don't worry. After this video, you'll learn a lot about the Vue and the Pinia, for sure. Now, let's check the app first to have a better idea about today's tutorial. All right, so let's see the app. So you can see this is, it's a very modern, slick design. So it's a note app. So what we can do, we can add the note from here. We have a place to add the note. We, we can add the note details here. And we can click on save button. Let's add another one, note two, and note two details. Save it. Let's add another one, note three. Let's say note three details. So whenever you are saving the item, it is saved into the left sidebar with a list view. And when we hover over it, you can see there is a pinned icon. So if we click on any of that, then the icon will be pinned and it will be listed at the top. And uh, when I hover on the pinned nodes, you can see there is an unpinned icon. So uh, if I click on that, then it will be unpinned and come back into the main list as well. We can add multiple pinned. So let's say I have added node two and node one. So I have this unpinned icon and it is also available into all nodes icons. So if I click on this unpinned icon, it will be unpinned from that particular list. Also, we can search from the top. So we can search for, let's say, node three. And if I hit enter, it will be added as a search result at the very top. So here is also these pinned and unpinned, uh, unpinned options as well. Now, if I click on any particular title, it will show me the details view. Obviously, here you will not be able to update or edit. So, you can we have this edit icon. Now, if I click on that, we can do the edit. And if I hit save, it will be edited. Now, let's go back node 2 and let's check node 3. So, it's been edited as well. And also, we can delete something. Let's say this one has been selected. So, we can see the uh, delete icon is appearing let me show you one thing so when we click on this we'll have this add uh, add notes uh, uh, form but that delete but uh, delete icon is disappeared when you select something only then this delete icon will be showing so if I click on note 2 so it is asking are you sure if I click on ok then note 2 will be deleted now we can toggle over with the grid view and you can see when we go to the grid view, we have the search result, all nodes. Now, if I click on this, you can see the pin nodes. And obviously, from there, we can have the same functionalities. Click on it. We have these details. Now, if I want to edit it, we can do edit it as well. And if I save it, it will be saved. And if I go back, I can see this note one details edited. Again, if I want to uh, unpin it, we can click on that and any particular thing if we want to delete let's select it and we can click on delete button it will be deleted and we can switch over to the list as well so we have this grid and the list now before i start coding i want to let you know that uh, this will be a list of videos so that you can follow alone and it will be easier for me to create the course as well so on the next video i will do the project setup and the folder orientation